So my daughter found some floating shelves that she really wanted from Pottery Barn. They have a bit of a lip on them that will hold books, picture frames, and small knickknacks. Now they're $70 off Pottery Barn, so I'm going to build them myself instead. Now today I'm going to try something new and I'm going to show you two different ways to build these shelves. The first way is going to be with common board and it's going to be a more inexpensive build and I'm going to be using basic tools that most people should have around their shop. Now the second method, I'm going to use poplar wood, which is what Pottery Barn uses, and I'll use a tongue and groove fit. Let's get started. I bought the common board in the width I needed, so I just had to cut them to length. The nice thing about these shelves is you can easily customize them to fit any space. I used a dowling jig I made out of a 2x4. You can also purchase an inexpensive one, or if you feel confident in your drilling, you can go without. I applied wood glue and clamp to hold the boards tight. To make sure I drilled the correct depth, I put painter's tape on my drill bit. I inserted the wood dowel with glue and hammered it with a mallet. I made sure to wipe off excess glue so the stain would take. For the front lip of the shelf, I used wood glue and one and a quarter inch brads. Since I wanted the poplar to match the pottery barn shelves, I dimensionalized the wood myself. Next, I cut the wood to length. To give the shelves a tongue and groove, I used a one quarter inch dado blade. I started by putting a groove in the front and back boards. Then I moved onto the middle section and cut a tongue on both edges. This was a little tricky to get centered and to get the exact size, so I used some test boards until I had it exact. After applying wood glue, I clamped the shelves to dry overnight.
I sanded with 120 and 220 grit sandpaper, just to get all the rough edges off. I used a gray stain, and off camera, I finished with a wipe-on poly to help protect the shelves from nine-year-old decorating, which always seems to involve sticky, messy items. So I finished the build and I have two different shelves. I wanted to just compare them real briefly. The common board turned out great. It has the look that has a little bit of a tighter green pattern and it's gonna look a little more rustic. It's hard to tell with the green gray stain that I used, but if you're going for a more rustic look, this may be the type of wood that you wanna go with. The edges where they come together, honestly, they look great. They don't look a whole lot different than the other shelf. And using the wood dowels in the back, I feel like that is a very strong hold that you're gonna have there. Now looking at the poplar board, this is definitely a more high-end look. The wood is going to look more uniform, so your shelves will go together maybe a little bit nicer. Now the tongue and groove joining was actually not as hard as I thought it would be to do, and it really gives it that finished look that looks very high end. So all in all, I think that they both turned out great. They were pretty easy to build, and I think they both are gonna be very strong on your wall for holding pictures and knickknacks. I measured out where I wanted the shelves. Then I located the studs. For an easy and strong hanger, I would recommend a French cleat, which you can find at your local hardware store for around $12. I chose to use a keyhole for mine since I have one and it made the hangers free for me. Using the keyhole is really tricky because if you are off just the slightest bit, the shelf won't fit. Luckily mine did. Please disregard the unfinished closet. I feel like as a woodworker, I live in an unfinished house. So that is another project for another day. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future builds.